Hello. So uh, this is what I'm doing today. I have gathered raspberries twice a day for three days, three or four days, which I'm going to have to pick more later today, but I can't wait anymore. I've got so many raspberries, which I'm not complaining. This is the most I have ever grown in my entire life. And uh, I personally think that my grandfather and my great uncle would be so proud because they too had huge gardens and they grew raspberries. Um, and uh, my my uncle Tony, my great uncle Tony, um, had like this whole row of raspberries. And uh, I remember going to visit his house and that was like one of the more exciting things, you know, and my grandfather had this huge, huge garden. Um, and I always remember in the summertime just picking those raspberries off and, uh, and green beans too. Lots of green beans. Um, <clears throat> so I think they'd be quite proud. What they did with them, I don't know. <laughs> I, d I unfortunately didn't get that knowledge from them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cook these down because I'm going to make, um, I'm going to try and make raspberry jelly. I'm going to try and pull the seeds out of that because I, I don't like the seeds in general. Um, I love raspberries, but the seeds annoy me. And I'm trying to be a little careful with seed intake. Not that there's anything wrong with me per se, but, um, you know, why not? Plus, I don't think I've ever made jelly. So this, this is going to be fun. I have cheesecloth and I, I don't have the thing. So I'm going to have to stand there and hold it and let it all drip and whatnot. Um, anyways, so I've got these from this year that are still going and I'm probably going to end up making more jars. And then I have these guys right here, um, that are from last year. Uh, this I think is just all raspberries and this is a mix of wild raspberries and raspberries that I grew. Um, and, uh, ironically, the wild raspberries didn't really grow this year, and that's fine. I, I don't really care. Um, let the birds have them, because, uh, they haven't been eating those. So I'm going to use half-pint jars, and, uh, I do have this little one just in case, and I do have this other one just in case as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of eight half-pint jars should be enough, um, so I'm going to sanitize my jars and lids beforehand because you are sterilized, I should say. Uh, you want to sterilize your jars in rolling, boiling water. It's got to be rolling or roaring. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. I don't know why that cracks me up. Um, you know, and then they've got to stay in there for 10 minutes. And um, then you take them out and, you know, like make sure they're dry no like lint on them or whatever um I'll try and film the process for you I cannot guarantee you anything because I'm doing laundry I've got to make banana bread I'm making this I gotta clean this mess up you know so I have room um and uh so it's a little less stressful when my other half comes home from work and uh we have coffee coffee oh god it's only 8 30 I want more coffee so yeah, that's what I'm going to do today. Uh, this was supposed to be a short, but it ended up being more of a long form video. Shooting a breeze. So, uh, I don't know. I'll try and film. If I don't, I'll take uh, little shorts and show you what I did and all that fun stuff. Um, on a, on a side note, these, oh, these are the hot pickles. Um, so I grow peppers, uh, not for me. I can't have them. Um, but my fiance loves them and he made hot pickles. I did not do the pickles. I grew all the stuff. He, he made them. And, um, look at these pickles, pickles. And then, <laughs> and then we got regular pickles. These are not refrigerator pickles. These have been pickled for the shelf, um, which I have to label these. Um, we decided not to do refrigerator pickles because they only really last like three months, which is probably won't last three months to be honest with you. Um, but that, I don't know, I guess we're just trying new 
new methods of preserving and and stuff like that. It's been a very rough growing season. Um, I'm just now starting to get a little bit of tomatoes. Uh, I had a burst of cucumbers. Clearly, we made pickles and we ate them. We made cucumber salads. Um, you know, beans have been trickling in, but they're, you know, at the end of their cycle. So, yeah, it's been rough here in Zone 6B, Rhode Island. So, if you're in Zone 6B or in New England, comment down below on how you're doing with your garden, aside from, you know, things like berries and whatnot, because I feel like these berries, look how beautiful those are. Oof, they're so good, too. Um, they're doing great. They love this weather. My blueberry, meh. But, um, yeah. Central Rhode Island's been struggling. Northern Rhode Island's doing pretty good. Anyways, I'm going to end this video because we're going on six minutes. And this, again, was supposed to be only, like, a short and then a couple minutes video. And now I'm just re rambling because that's what I do. Um, all right. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, whatever. I don't know. Uh, I'll try and, uh, bleh, bleh, brain fart. <laughs> Film. I will try and film this for you. If I don't, I'm so sorry. But um, I'll explain the process and what I did or try to. Um, again, I have like a million things going on and I'm like squirrel brain. So have a great day. Bye. I don't know what this is. <laughs> See, I think I need more coffee. So maybe I'll just make some tea because I don't make the coffee. Not that I don't know how to make coffee. I do. But my fiance makes the most amazing coffee with the french press and every time i try to do it i screw it up so maybe i'll just go make some tea to awaken my brain a little bit more put the weather channel on like i always do all right bye